Never you mind. Never you mind. Youth is fleeting. It's a time of discovery and exploration, but also of disappointment and loss. This bittersweet perspective is familiar from many novels and movies that tell coming-of-age stories. But The Last Picture Show, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, connects these feelings to a particular moment in history and the gradual disappearance of a way of life. Nobody wants to come to shows no more. Kid baseball in the summer, television all the time. Sam had lived, I, I believe we could have kept it going. But I just didn't have the know-how. Won't be much to do in town when the picture show closed. Yeah. The film is focused on three teenagers in Anarene, Texas, a small town, in the years between the end of World War II and the outbreak of the Korean War. It's too hot in here. Let's go outside. I don't want a lot of drunk hillbillies tromping on my feet. Sybil Shepherd is JC, the rich girl who all the boys dream about. Sonny and Dwayne, played by Timothy Bottoms and Jeff Bridges, are best friends and co captains of the football team. All of their performances are fresh and appealing and heartfelt, but The Last Picture Show is really an ensemble piece, and it has a terrific supporting cast, including Eileen Brennan, Ellen Burstyn, Cloris Leachman, and Randy Quaid, and they all collaborate to bring the town to sad but nonetheless vivid life. <laughs> I'll tell you, Sonny, it's terrible to only meet one man in your whole life who knows what you're worth. Just terrible. Larry McMurtry, who co-wrote the script with Bogdanovich, based it on his own autobiographical novel. And one of the things that gives the movie its precise and detailed sense of place is McMurtry's insight into life in the West Texas landscape. I'll stay with her all night one of these nights, too. She done promised. You won't either. Yes, I will. Why shouldn't I? She done told me you couldn't even do it that time, Wichita Falls. What about that? Now, if McMurtry's writing is what grounds the movie in reality, it's Bogdanovich's direction that infuses it with lyricism. Bogdanovich tells the story efficiently, but more importantly, he's always aware of and knows how to take advantage of the emotional power of the cinematic image. The last picture show is showing us a town in the process of dying. I've got some crazy kids in this town, if you ask me. Something that had seemed permanent is shown to be transient. And the movie doesn't explain this process or even protest against it. It simply invites us to mourn and to move on. <laughs>